Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is your general love reading. Now let's start and first let's shuffle the deck four times for you. What is your current situation? What are the current energies? Wanting to leave behind the situation that uh, was very distressing, put you down emotionally. You felt very disappointed. You want to stop that sorrow and grieving by letting it go and trying to forget that painful experience. There were big dreams there. You still want to believe that there's hope and and uh, a way to to make that dream come true to be long term in a more stable serious connection with this past person yes despite you still having those uh, hopes for Making it successful, having a, a stable, consistent connection with this past person, it was causing you much stress. And that breakup completely destroyed those hopes. You still want to hold to it, but you, you are realizing that it is not good for your uh, mental health. That's why you want to try to forget the past. What is affecting you in your subconscious right now? You still feel connected with them energetically. You have love for them. But you think you should avoid them because they were not honest with you. They may have lied or they may have been not totally transparent with you in the past. The lovers and the seven of swords. Now, what happened in the past? What was the main problem? You wanted to see finally success there. You wanted to finalize that connection with marriage or to celebrate the love with them. You wanted the connection to be stable and solid and consistent. You wanted to feel secure in that relationship with them. But what you got was the contrary, unfortunately. You realized the connection could not be stable and uh, despite any efforts, it was not successful because I have the world and the Queen of Pentacles in the position of the challenge in the past. Now, how do you view the situation? How do you view it? Let's see more details. You'd like, uh, let's see, why the Ace of Swords? Now, you may want to hear some more information from them you'd like some conversation to happen with the intention to get more clarity to hear more about the truth even though you may have clarity right now but what you want behind this conversation is not this uh, intention to get clarity it is deeper than that it is the feelings that you still have uh, for this past person What you hope is, let's see, I, I don't want to jump into conclusions immediately. Let's clarify why the full card. Okay, yes. The full card is clarified by the Queen of Cups. You want what you wish, what you hope is still a new blank page with them because you still have feelings, deep feelings for this person, even though you may not be expressing those feelings to them. What you don't like is the trust is not the same. The trust has been broken. That's why you're a bit unsure. You're a bit guarded. You have been hurt and you don't trust them 
uh, 100%. You are still holding back there tightly because of your feelings towards them, but you are not quite sure and uh, secure, not feeling quite confident in that connection with them. Now, what about them? Let's see, what about their energies right now towards you? Let's shuffle again because... It was not either upright or reversed. It was the the Hermit card. Some of you were dealing with a Virgo or they had heavy Virgo placements in their chart. So take what resonates. Now, at the bottom of the deck I have the Magician in the reverse. The cards that were dealt for them are the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups and the Temperance in the reverse. Some of you were dealing with an Aries. <coughs> sorry for my... <coughs> sorry for my voice. Some of you were dealing with an Aries or uh, Sagittarius. It can be any sign, but... So, this person hasn't lost attraction for you, they still want to restart because they still feel the connection deeply and they are becoming impatient about that, about a restart. But what I don't like about them is them being still not the honest person, not the honest partner. If they lied before, they may have not changed that much. They felt good in that connection, but they have not learned the lessons. Yes? Uh, magician in the reverse. Uh, the king of wands in the reverse. The connection with them may be still inconsistent, not reliable. It is very important to be, uh, to have, I think, uh, a healthy conversation to tell what the boundaries are in order for the pattern, the negative pattern, of the past not to be repeated again, because I think they may lie again uh, if uh, the connection would start immediately. The connection would be not stable, would, would cause you distress. They would like to talk, that's for sure. They have not made up their mind if they want to send a friendly message and test the waters if you still like or love them. But they want a restart. They want to be a couple with you, two of cups and the uh, ace of wands. Let's see one more card. The sun card. They are unhappy. They want to be happy with you. Let's see at the bottom. Three of swords, but they caused you lots of pain and hurt. Let's hope it was not a third party situation because I have here three of swords, seven of swords. Uh, I had also the magician in the reverse. Anyway, let's continue this reading and extend it with more details about uh, them, about their feelings towards you right now, what are their intentions, how do they view you, uh, what about the energies around each one of you and the mutual energies as well. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. See you the next reading and bye for now.